This video shows how to integrate and automate business processes in Informatica Cloud Application Integration. In Cloud Application Integration, you can integrate APIs and event-based data in real-time, integrate and automate business processes and workflows, and implement and manage internal and external APIs. In this video, we'll show you how to integrate and automate a process in Cloud Application Integration. Let's walk through an example. A bank wants to run a loan inquiry process using Cloud Application Integration. To do this, we'll connect to Salesforce to find out if the loan ID exists. The loan ID tells the bank that the loan is registered with the mortgage company. If the loan ID exists, we'll connect to Zillow Web Services, the leading real estate and rental marketplace. Zillow gets the property valuation details, so the bank can verify if the property meets the required valuation parameters. Then, we'll create a task in Salesforce for the bank to follow up with the buyer. This video has four parts. In Part 1, we'll show you how to create a loan inquiry process. In Part 2, we'll show you how to create a managed API for the process. In Part 3, we'll show you how to manage and monitor API usage. And finally, in Part 4, we'll show you how to provide access to visual and interactive data. If you want to review any of these sections, we've listed timestamps in the description box to help you navigate the video. We'll start by looking at a loan inquiry process. In Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, click Application Integration. We open the Process Designer page. If you need to create a new process, you click Create. In this video, we'll look at a process that we've already created. The Start step defines the binding, access, and runtime environment for the process. You can invoke the process as a web service over HTTP. The process uses basic authentication and runs on the cloud server. The process also uses the loan ID. The Output Fields tab shows the property valuation and loan details that the process returns. The process uses an assignment step to look up the load ID in Salesforce. The decision step verifies if the loan ID exists in Salesforce. If the loan ID doesn't exist, a message indicates this, and the process ends. If the loan ID exists in Salesforce, we use the Zillow connection through the service step to get the low and high valuations for the property. You enter the street address and zip code, and the service step returns the valuation details. The decision step branches out to three paths, depending on whether the property was found in Zillow. If the service step did not find the property in Zillow, the decision step takes the first path and returns an error. If the zip code isn't valid, the decision step takes the second path and returns a different error. If the service step found the property in Zillow, the decision step takes the third path and assigns low and high valuations to the property. Next, we'll create a task in Salesforce. The bank can use the task to follow up with the buyer. Here we see the details that the Create step writes to the task in Salesforce. The loan inquiry process is published, which means that it's exposed as an API. After you publish a process, Cloud Application Integration generates service URLs, a Swagger file, and a WSDL file. Let's take a closer look. Open the Actions menu and click Properties Detail. You can use the service URLs to invoke the loan inquiry process. We'll copy the REST service URL, then paste it in a browser, add the loan ID at the end, and press Enter. Then, we'll enter the username and password for the account that's authorized to invoke the process. Since the loan ID that we entered exists in Salesforce, we see the property valuation details. In Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, open the Application Integration Console service to view the process details. We'll click the ID for the process instance we just ran, and then click the service step. We can see the values that the process sent to the Zillow web service, and we can see the property valuation details that the Zillow service returned. 
Now, we'll click the Create step to see the inputs that the process sent to the Salesforce task. We can see details about the Salesforce task. Let's log into Salesforce to verify the information. And we can see the task that the loan inquiry process created. So now, we'll create a managed API for the loan inquiry process. In Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, open the API Manager service. We find the row that has the REST-based process API that we created earlier. From the Actions menu, click Create Managed API, click Create, and that's it. Now we can access the service through a Managed API URL. We can apply some policies and analyze information about the API. Next, we'll show you how to manage and monitor API usage. Open the Managed API. On the General tab, you can define the authentication methods for invoking the API. You can add policies that enforce security, define access rules, and comply with data privacy regulations. You can add a policy that protects the private information contained in the API data. Also, you can view the request and response parameters. Click Try It Out to run and test the API in a Swagger interface. You can copy the URL for the managed API, and then you can invoke the API in the same way we invoked the process with the REST service URL earlier. Also, you can view information about user activity in graphic displays, and you can drill down to see more details about each event. Next, we'll show how to provide access to visual and interactive data by creating a guide. A guide is a set of screens that prompts you to review, enter, or confirm data. We'll use a guide to invoke the loan inquiry process. In Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, click Application Integration. To create a new guide, you open the Guide Designer page. For this video, we'll look at a loan inquiry guide that we've already created. We can see the loan ID, and we can see that the process step calls the loan inquiry process that we worked with in the first part of this video. In the second screen step, we see the property valuation details. We'll run the guide. Enter the loan ID and click Continue. Now we can see the values that the guide returned. In this video, we showed you how to create a loan inquiry process, create a managed API for the loan process, manage and monitor API usage, and provide access to visual and interactive data. So now you know how to automate and integrate processes with Informatica Cloud Application Integration. If you want to go back and revisit any of the steps we covered, we've listed the timestamps in the description box to help you navigate this video.